what's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be doing my first ever story time and it's going to be a continuation or a more detailed look into my labor and delivery as much as i can remember so if that sounds like something you're interested in please stick around subscribe comment like all that good stuff and let's get right into the video just like in the video it was around like 6 20 6 30 ish and i had to go to the bathroom so i got up went to the bathroom and this time when i went to the bathroom well not this time i've heard it other times too i heard like an extra tinkle and i wanted to think a lot into it but i was half asleep so i just was like whatever this was probably just pee so i went to wipe when i wiped there was a pink like a spotting pinkish discharge on the tissue so i called out to marcus and was like hey um i'm bleeding <laughs> and he was like how much and I almost did a lot I said no it's a little bit and I believe from there I um called the midwife no I got back in bed from there I got back in bed because it was just bright pink and with little Marcus I was having frequent but inconsistent contractions when I went to the bathroom around like midnight I wiped and it was like I had started my period so it was like bright but dark red so that was alarming but in having a second kid i know that bleeding is not abnormal especially at the end so when i saw that it was bright pink i was like okay this is probably just my mucus plug because it was a discharge on it so i got back in bed but i put a panty liner on well when i laid down um i felt a gush come out and i was like well my water just broke so i got back up Guffled to the bathroom, sat on the toilet, and more came out. I called my midwife, and she was like, go bake a cake, go keep yourself busy. This can be a short or long process before active, before um, contractions really start to kick in and up. So I was like, okay, but at that point, anxious, like laughing, I couldn't go back to sleep. So that's when I picked up the camera and started recording. So, uh... The water, it just kept coming out. As you saw in the video, I had to, I tried to get in the bed with the pad, but it soaked so quick. So that's when I called my sister-in-law and was like, hey, I think it's time for you to come over here. And when you come, please stop and get me some puppy pads and some pants <laughs> because my mattress was not about to be filled with amniotic fluid. So yeah, but then you saw, like, I wasn't even comfortable getting in the bed. So I was like hanging off the side of the bed and it was just, and then Marcus was making me laugh. So it was just ridiculous so anyway um i started having contractions they were pretty far apart between eight to ten minutes very tolerable um and then i was you know i wasn't really moving around but i wasn't still like i was in the bed i was back and forth up to the bathroom because i had to change my freaking depends so uh back and forth to the bathroom and then eventually the contraction started coming more frequent and uh started intensifying in pain so i had laid across the bed with marcus we were watching um one of our podcasts we watched together on youtube i am athlete and um and the contraction started to get stronger to the point where it started to bring me in tears but they were still like they weren't unbearable like I would stop talking, but I could talk through them, but I would stop because all my focus and energy was trying to make sure that I was able to breathe and get through this contraction. So I had about three of those before I called my doula and um, told her, okay, it's time for you to come over here. So when she came over, I was sitting on the toilet. I was having contractions. And let me tell you, being in the sitting position while you're having contractions only makes it better not gonna say worse it speeds labor up so every time I sat on the toilet I had a contraction from the gravity and you know just it was it was crazy so she came in the bathroom she immediately went to change and helping me change my depends because it became a little more difficult to lift my leg up when trying to change because I was having contractions so often so then she um i did eat breakfast she encouraged me to marcus had left when the contractions weren't bad sorry my nose is just oh marcus had left marcus had left when um the contractions were like 
barely there to go and get us uh, some breakfast tacos so yeah so then when she got there um she was like you need to eat to keep your energy up for labor so marcus had we had just bought some fruit so marcus had made me a bowl of strawberries and grapes which you saw him bring me in the video and that's when i gave a shout out because he was so awesome through this entire process i feel bad for my boo because he's i think i think i scared him so i was eating the um strawberries and grapes i was drinking my water surprisingly because i couldn't drink water the entire time my doula was rubbing my back. She was rubbing my stomach. Um, she was bearing down on my back, which now that I look back, it definitely helped with the contractions more than I thought it did in that t in that moment. But um, if she wasn't there, I don't know. Like, yeah, me and Marcus would have been struggling. <laughs> so um, yeah, so she went ahead and um, kept on like being of assistance to me. Hold on. sorry for the good check on the baby but yeah so she was a big help to both of us she i feel like she kept marcus calm and sane and also me at the same time so um yeah so at some point if you look when i was sitting on the ball and i was having a contraction she was rubbing me uh shortly after that around like 145 o'clock something like that i wasn't really looking at the clock because i don't really care but <laughs> between 1 45 and 2 o'clock the contractions they were i just wasn't feeling like i was getting a break so um i like looked back at her and i was like when are we leaving because at this point i'm not feeling like i'm getting a break and i had one contraction that felt like it was making my body push so i said well, when are we leaving and she was like oh, i'm gonna give it another 15 minutes so you can be in a full our window of consistent contractions because your contractions are about every two minutes did she say two minutes i think she said two minutes so i said okay and i was rolling with the punches but baby five to seven minutes later i was like no we need to go because then i had another contraction that felt like i needed to push so i was like no we need to go we gotta go we gotta get out of here so um I got up, we got dressed, we walked, well, I got up, I didn't get dressed, what I had on is what I had on, walked out the door, Marcus was in the house doing something, I don't know, I was like, you need to come on, because at this point, I'm feeling like I need to push, and I didn't want to go against my body, because it made it worse, so, we get in the car, and all breaks loose, like, we get in the car, and I did not want him to stop. I really felt like I wanted him to run every stop sign, every light, every everything. So we get in the car, and um, it felt like we got caught by every single light on the way there. And I'm like, no, don't stop. Keep going. And he's like, I can't. We get down the end of um, the main street to get to what we call this road called 1604 and we get caught by a light and the cars seem like they're moving so slow and i'm like they need to move go 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 and like there was just nothing but he let me have my moments and then we get on 1604 and one of the things i was worried about during this was running into traffic in one of the busy areas here in one of the busy area busiest areas here in san antonio and when I opened my eyes, once we got past, uh, once we got to that area, all I saw was red lights and I freaked out. No, I don't want to be in traffic. Please, Jesus, no traffic. Like, that's what I was saying. And every, a lot of people was like, when you cut the sound out, what were you saying? That's what I was saying. I was like, no traffic, no traffic, please, no traffic. And we were in traffic. And then it didn't help that my car was slow, which is why I got a push gift. So, um, yes, so we are driving, 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 and mind you, I take this, I was taking this drive often, obviously, because I was on weekly appointments at this point, so I'm taking this drive often, so I already know that, like, we're closed, but we're not really closed, so we get there, so we, we get past all the traffic, and I, at this point, I'm like, okay, we're close, so you can make it, but then. I felt like I needed to push for real, for real. I told Marcus to pull over because we were not going to make it. I don't know what I was thinking, but that baby was coming out in that car. <laughs> so, 
um he was like are you sure i'm like yes pull over because i just couldn't imagine doing it while he was driving he was about to pull over and the light turned green and i'm like go 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 my midwife had called and was trying to calm me down and walk me through it and she was like you got to breathe through it and that was frustrating me because i was just like i am trying to breathe through it like I am. I don't know what else to do. And I was like, I have to get off the phone. I have to get off the phone. So she was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> got off the phone with her. And that's when you saw me in the video, like, <sighs> because I was trying to replay her in my mind and listen and actually breathe. So as soon as we pulled up to um, the birth center, some girl came out and was introducing herself. And I gave her, I'm pretty sure I gave her a look like, girl, I don't care what your name is you better get me in this house before i have this baby so they walked me in the house i stopped in the kitchen and was like i gotta push and i pushed i was standing up and i pushed she was under me with the mat with the pad to catch him or to catch any blood or anything like that but he didn't come out so they walked me over to the bed i laid on the bed and as soon as i laid on the bed i was in pain contractions all of it you name it and the first thing I could think of was, where is the nitrous? Where is the laughing gas? Because we had a conversation and that is what I said I wanted. Why isn't it here? And she was like, it's coming, girl. It's coming. And I'm like, it's not here yet, though. Like, why is it? So they came in. They gave it to me. And as soon as they gave it to me, I put it in. She told me what to do. And the whistling noise you heard was me not using it properly. And that was because I was freaking out and I was screaming because I was in so much pain. But when I finally, like, would I be able to calm down and I would be able to take it in, it did not take the pain away, just to let you guys know. So I'm, I'm not telling you that it took the pain away. It did not take the pain away. It did calm my anxiety of thinking about the pain I was feeling. And it literally told me, just push and get it over with. Like, push and get it over with. And so those screams that you heard, 150% real because I still felt every little thing. The gas just knocked the, like it just took the panic away a little bit. So yes. So then uh, that was the, what you see is what it was. After I got the gas, I pushed um, and yeah, everything was done. And once his head came out, Mind you guys, I have not, even though I edited the video, I have not watched my um, uncensored birth video, and I want to, but uh, once his head came out, I was like, oh, thank God, because even though I was still in pain, that burning from the stretching was gone, and then she was like, push again, and I pushed because I still had contractions because it still hurt not as bad but in my mind my mind is telling me that i'm feeling the pain i was just feeling two seconds ago so i'm screaming i'm pushing his body came out and it just felt like warm jelly and i was like oh it's over <laughs> like i'm so freaking happy that it was over but all in all my experience with my midwife was great awesome she's here in san antonio um my doula was awesome my husband was awesome and great through the whole pregnancy the whole everything so supportive even when i was like i don't know if i can do this he was like you can so he was great and i wouldn't change a thing but i wouldn't do it again because i know what to expect and i'm not here for it not me not not this girl right here so more power to the people that bust them out with no epidural but this one right here no not again so yeah, so that is my birth story. That is a little bit of the in-between details that I didn't get a chance to record. If you are liking these videos, if you're liking me, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give my videos likes. Go back in time and watch some of the old videos. Watch my birth story if you haven't. Um, I did also do a tour of the birth center, so you can check that out. And then I did a two week update so far for him and I'm gonna do a month update when he turns one month old. So yes, thank you for watching and see you soon. Peace.